We've been installing these yoga mat tiles on the underside of the bubble dome. And mostly it's gone well, but we've noticed that they're sticking better in some places than others. So we'll do a section and it looks great, but we'll do a different section and we've got tiles falling off the wall. So we've got to have a process issue, right? What we've been using is this Super 77, which is great stuff. But I suspect that it works better when there's more paint on the foam, so it's a less porous surface. And I also think it's possible we may be needing to um, spray a tile and then let it get tacky before applying it, rather than just applying it instantly. So I've got a test here. I watch a lot of Mythbusters with kids, and this feels like something they would do. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna try the Super 77 on more paint or less paint, so it's more porous or less porous. We're gonna try it just sprayed on a tile, quickly stuck on there. We're also gonna try spraying the back of the tile and letting it get tacky and then sticking them on there. And then we're also gonna try the uh, 3M High 90 and then the Weldwood Contact Cement. These are both contact adhesives and so you uh, spray it on two sides, let them get tacky and then stick them on. And hopefully doing this, we'll be able to figure out what actually is our problem and what we can do to make sure that these really cool colorful tiles stay right where we want them. The plan. So, conclusion, I think. The 77 with more paint seems to stick better. And letting it tack up first does seem to make a difference over just spraying it straight on. We learn things. So, Corey, talk to me about what you've been working on for longer than you want to. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, all of these yoga mat tiles that we are hanging up up here have to obviously be fit and arranged in a way that kind of still kind of keep their outline and their shape. Um, so, that way it's got this cool pattern effect going on. So, what we've been doing is some of these you can see have been nailed in. Uh, and what that is, is we just kind of, I kind of lay them all out in place first, get them held up by nails, kind of just tack them in so we can kind of get a pattern of where things go. And then after everything's kind of fit and looking like, okay, it's all going to fit, kind of meet up, I'll come back and some of these tiles will have to make specific cuts to kind of just cut them into shape, as you can see with some of these. Uh, and then we just kind of cut them into shape, fit them, move to the next one, piece by piece. And then we spray this awesome... Uh, glue adhesive on the back. We let it kind of tack up and get real sticky. We'll put it into place, add some pressure, take a little hammer, hammer it in so that way it holds nice and tight and just move on to the next one. And as you can see, it's just a big process of getting these up. But it's turning out really well and I've, yeah. you've done a really nice job of figuring out kind of the it really is a yeah. process. This is one of those process projects. It's been a lot of trial and error and a lot of just kind of funky shapes. You kind of got to cut to get things to fit. But once they all fit nice and tight, it's going to look really awesome and have this really cool pattern effect in here. Nice work, Corey. That doesn't look awkward at all, Cap. I'm sure it does. 